we have, ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for the one and only, a good mate of mine, Mr. Greg Champion. Evening, Dixie. Why do I feel like I'm on 3UZ in the 70s? Yeah, well, because that's where we're all, uh, we were hippie, hippie, rocky jockeys back in those days. That's where our minds are still at. Yeah, but by God, it is so nice of you to come in live with your guitar mm -hmm. this morning to uh, these wonderful studios where you had so much success mm -hmm. with so many big hits. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was in the old, <laughs> old AW studios. It's only the second time I've been to these Swiss new ones. Yeah, well, it's just great. I'm so honoured that on my last shift, yeah. you should deign to come in yeah. and uh, spend some time with us. It is a delight. And so it's a novelty because, uh, you know, we normally broadcast on Saturday mornings. Yeah, the so beans have been going for how long? It's our 36th season on air. And I keep uh, hearing you say to me, they are the, every year they sort of say, oh, we don't know if we'll, we'll go again with the Coulda Beans. And you say, no. Well, you never know if the, they're going to, uh, the, the national broadcaster yeah. is going to, with the first three letters of the alphabet, yeah. uh, is going to renew your contract year by year. So it's always a year by year proposition, okay. the one year contracts. Yeah. Uh, but at this stage of the game, the could have been themselves uh, have got to the age where they don't want to walk away. We want to see if we can knock up 40 or 50 years. We've seen off a few managers and we want to see off a few more. Oh, good for you, fellas. Good for you. And um, this great team, a great team down there but we're so pleased to have you in the studio we've got uh, so many lovely callers on the line uh, sammy down in tassie i've got to say hi to sammy g'day sammy hi oh, i do we said hi sammy <laughs> um hi Dixie. how are you sweetie i'm very very well thank you and uh greg, really? greg champions in the studio isn't, uh, isn't that a treat well pleased to meet you greg i think i might have heard your voice but i don't think i've met you oh, i know you sammy i've met you we've we've uh you and I, we spent a weekend together once. No, don't don't say uh, that. No, I mean what we're saying. We were uh, we were just um, nineteen. Radio buddies. Yeah, that's right. In, in our minds, Sammy, yeah, that was all. There you go. And Sammy's down in uh, Tassie, and she's she's a very very nice person, and been a very uh, a very faithful caller into the, my time here, Sammy. Oh, thank you. And you've been a really good. Oh, spot on DJ, oh. announcer, I've been told to say. <laughs> no, you can say anything you like. You can say anything you like. Yeah, well, look, I just want to say thank you to you, as I say, for uh, for being a friend of uh, Australia Overnight. And thank all you. your gags, I hope you've got a good one to, uh, to leave me <laughs> with uh, today. Yeah, oh, just before I start, um, we had a lamb roast today. Oh, did you? <gasps> oh, oh, Was it yum. divine? Who made the sauce? Who made the gravy? The gravy, I I poured it. My friend made it. <laughs> wasn't lumpy, was it? No, I love lumpy, but it wasn't lumpy. <laughs> okay, that's good. Where are There's you in? Five, ve five where, veg as well. Where are you in Tassie, Sammy? Uh, where am I? Round about Moona. <gasps> Don't tell me. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, round about Moona. What have you dropped? What have you doing, darling? What, what's happening? No, I thought I was going. I didn't mean you to hear that. No, oh, wasn't brick, uh, was it? No, Bricky's asleep. He's weak. Yeah, oh, I know. But, you know, well, you, you probably give him too much exercise. That's that's the trouble. Brick, Brick's her house, her house brick that oh. she, she trains with. It's actually a fencing brick, isn't it? That's right. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, he looks at me like, what? Again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that brick. Uh, come on. No, I love him too. Yeah, come on, Sammy. And okay, sweetie. Here comes my dear friend Philip Brady with the with the papers. G'day, Phil. How are you, fella? It's, Sit down, have a bit of a chat, will you? It's the paper boy. Yeah, yeah. I've even got one for your guest as well. Oh, there what a are, great guy! Greg. Oh. Look at this, Greg Champion, Philip Listen, Brady. Okay, now I have the Age, the Australian, the Herald Sun, and while I'm here, I'll do your quick picks for you. Oh, aren't you lovely? Thank you so much. Listen, have a good one, mate. We're going to miss you. Oh. Oh, look, I tell you what, you have to. Ha we have to have a, a selfie. So everyone, come around the back here All right. while we're okay. on the air, and uh, come around here, boys. All right. um, There'll be people in the state who thought I died years ago. No, no, no. Aww. I heard you today on the radio. You did not die. Will they uh, see this on the radio? Yeah, they, they w might see it on the radio. So um, Philip, there we are. Hop in there, right. and uh, there we go. There, there we go. go. There we go. There we go. That's perfect. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you, Philip. Welcome. I'll see you next time round. Isn't that lovely? Philip Brady coming in sure. and 
Yeah. Very nice. He's just oh, shaking. It's amazing. Greek. Lovely. Oh, boy, it's the, so nice to be here. All the big stars are here, I tell you that. Uh, Where about, else would you want to be? That's right. Uh, how about uh, the resonance in the voice? The, oh, Philip. don't you worry. There's timber in that man's voice. Whoa. <laughs> is, is that a radio voice or what? <laughs> hey, Sammy, what a pleasure to have you on the radio as well. Yeah, Philip Brady, he's brilliant, isn't he? Oh, he is brilliant, and uh, we love you, Sammy. Him, so, you've known him yeah. since when? Oh, I've not met him, but known him on the mm. telly since, oh gosh, 60s. Yeah. Oh, since the 1860s. <laughs> yeah. No. 1360s. Give me a joke, please, Sammy. Okay. Madam rings for her butler and asks him to, please take off my dress, please take off my petticoat, please take off my bra, Please take off my underwear. All her requests are answered with a respectful, Yes, ma'am. Finally, she said, And Jeeves, if I catch you wearing my clothes again, you'll be sacked. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sammy. God bless you. <laughs> and I will be talking uh, to you soon on uh, Australia Overnight somewhere sometime, OK? Uh, back at you. Thanks, Sammy. God bless you, darling. 14 past uh, 12 is the time, and Alan's on the line. You're in Melbourne, Alan. How are you going? I'm doing very well, John. That's and how you going, Greg? G'day, Alan. Pleased to meet you. Yes. We got a superstar remember, in the studio this morning. I remember you on the radio, Mr. Champion. Well, we spent ten years on Three AW between uh, '92 and '02. Yes, it was um, quite funny. <laughs> well, we try that, to be quite funny. It was really, um, really good entertainment, that was. Thank you, Alan. Uh, it really was. Have you been listening to AW for decades? Because that was a while ago. Uh, we, we were on. It's, it's been... Um, a long the, time. I'm working it out. <laughs> well, don't go to um, sleep on me. <laughs> no, it was... When my second wife passed away, right. um, we were only married for just over three years. Oh, that's a shame. She had a, a massive brain hemorrhage. Oh, dear. Mm. And, um, so it wasn't so ever ago. since then, mm. I have been listening to... 3AW. What a th and my radio is, And my radio that I use, mm -hmm. back in the days they would have called it a pocket radio. Oh. But you, you can't fit it in your pocket. It's not a little and tranny. It's just, uh, yes, that's what it is. And it's, I've been using it for 36 years. Yeah. I tell you what, you wouldn't get one to last that long now, champs. I was just going to say, they don't make trannies like that anymore. No. And the old ones are the good ones. And, and hello to really all the old great. trannies who are listening. Thank you so much indeed. <laughs> Alan, God bless you, mate. Great to have you on the line. And uh, we've got uh, another young fellow on the line right now. Uh, are you there, young man? Yes, I am. Uh, you, hello. You're on the air with Greg Champion now. Oh, g'day, Greg. I, I, I love all those songs you do. Those... The, the one you do, you know, about the old man emus, I really like that one. Now, now I didn't recognise your voice, but <laughs> I, but I've just seen the t the monitor, and, <laughs> and your name's come up. Uh, I hello. Would, I would have, you would have hoaxed me there, wouldn't you? I, I, yeah, you got I, punked. You got punked. Uh, hello, hello, Dixie. Hello, Coves. Nice to talk to you, fellow. Thank you so much for you know spending the the th three and six minutes to ring up. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Can't get him to do a gig with me, but he turns up with you after midnight. <laughs> He's been here every single night, <laughs> knocking on the door. No, no, I, well, I, I pleaded with him to come in, and he was very kind to come in. And so, what are you doing up at this time of night, Co? Uh, I was I was listening to uh, Phil and Simon, and I heard Bexy forward promote you are going to be on. So oh. I refuse to go to bed. I just want to listen. Uh, so uh, you're not oh. motoring home to the to the countryside from a, yes. a function. Yes. Yes, I am, no, and yeah. uh, it's been great having you keep me company the last few weeks, Dixie. Well, oh, thank you, mate. I appreciate it. It's been a, been a lot of fun. It's nice to be able to get back on the horse. Yeah, so this will, this will keep me awake all the way, listening to you and Greg, and uh, 
Uh, well, just all, we need, all we need is Billy Baxter to ring in and a few of the others and we'll be right. Cove, uh, Cove, Deeks told me off air before we started that yeah. his career began at, at UZ. I didn't realise that, mate. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. You, you knew that, of course. Well, you had a spell at 3GL, didn't you, Deeksy? Sorry? Did you ever work at 3GL? Oh, sure did, yes, in James Street. That was uh, my second radio station. I worked there with uh, Mr Gray for... Uh, Reg Gray. Yeah, Reg Gray yeah. For, for quite a long time, it was, which was fantastic because if we were mucking around in the record library or upstairs, you could hear <laughs> Mr Gray come up the stairs. I, I know you could. <laughs> <laughs> because he had a bit of a dodgy leg and you could hear yeah. him sort of clumping up the stairs. Yeah. And uh, June used to do the morning show. It was good fun down at 3GL. I loved it. Well, I, I started in newspapers 40 years ago this year, believe it or not. Wow. And one of my first jobs at the Geelong Advertiser was to write the news mm. for 3GL for their 5 o'clock bulletin of an evening and the 10 o'clock bulletin. Yeah. I, I used to have to get, well, obviously that was you know, before my time because, um, oh no, after my time because I've been mm. at Channel 7 for 40 years next <laughs> year. So uh, with this, I'm talking about 1970. Uh, and I uh, used to have to get the newspaper and just read out of the newspaper. <laughs> well, Cove... So, so, uh, I just want, DC, did you have the choice of doing uh, over, over, uh, Australia Overnight um, or doing the announcing at the <laughs> Olympic Stadium in Rio? I wanted to do the warm-up, but uh, it turns out they couldn't afford me because they could just afford to do the Olympic Games as it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, our seven team are there and they're doing a fantastic... Yeah. Although somebody did come up to me in the, uh, one, at Channel 7 and said, uh, one of the technicians said, are you on the roster to go to Rio? I've gone, <laughs> what? What? I don't, I don't think I would be, no, no. Yeah, yeah, your name's on the roster. I've yeah. gone, and it turns out it was Deeks, it was Deke Estella. Yeah. Yeah, they just <laughs> <put> his, <laughs> and it, they, they just put Deeks in there. And I thought, that's oh, fun. yeah, that's great. Hey, that's Coves. Fun. Yeah, Keep uh, driving safely, uh, because yeah, no. after this break, we're going to get uh, Mr Champion to do some songs. Do you have a request? <laughs> uh, yeah, for him to sing in tune. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard them all, Cove, and uh, I think we're allowed to use the term UZ. That's uh, now uh, uh, an archaic network station, What's I believe. That? Yeah. The yeah. term UZ. UZ, the, the call, yeah, three the UZ. Call sign yeah. The yeah. call sign doesn't exist. No, but, uh, it doesn't exist anymore. When uh, Dick uh, launches his show, he, gee, he does sound like a rock jock from the past, doesn't I know. It? I, I'm sorry, I can't help it. Yeah. And, that, and, that's uh, how I am. Hey, well, listen, we're, we're doing a, a show at the Melbourne Arts Centre on Sunday, the 11th of September at 3 o'clock in yeah. the afternoon. Perhaps we could get you to come down and do the voiceover for it. I oh, would be, I would be, so as long as it's a stand microphone and I can stand there and be your announcer through the whole thing. That'd be fantastic. I would be most honoured to uh, to be with you uh, all of all of you. It'd Cove, be fantastic. Yeah. Lovely thought, Cove. And you had me fooled there, Cove. I wouldn't have picked up your voice. <laughs> Damn, I should have. Yeah, turn it around. Not for the, not for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ian. See you, Johnny. See you, Sandy. Good night, Ian Cove. It's twenty-one past twelve. Coming up on Australia overnight. After this, the great Greg Champion in the studio. We're going to get him to do the song that was made a hit by 3AW in 1986. It's coming up after this. Past 12, this is Australia Overnight. We are so honoured, so honoured to have Mr Greg Champion in the house. Champs is here mm. and he's got his guitar. Now tell us about this song. All right. And that's an old MC thing when you put Mr in front of someone's name. Mr you know, Greg Champion. It's not enough to say, you know, we've got John Deeks in the studio. It has to be Mr John Deeks has entered the building. That's a, it's running know, a highlighter through it. it is it like it's running somehow it gives you more status, doesn't so th it? There's a highlighter. We're putting yeah. Mr Greg Champion. Well, I think well, it's after midnight. Let's, we'll talk Champs. to Mr Champs. There we go. Well, the story goes that uh, I made this song up in 86-ish and AW got a hold of it and, and played it a lot. And the listeners, uh, some still bring it up uh, and remember it. So we'll see if some AW listeners out there still know it all these years later. Drive me down to Carlton To pick up some stuff You can hang around in Oakley Just waiting for a bus To take you down to Moorabbin Watch them old St. Boys play 
But don't you ever turn right at Burke Road, Malvern, because you'll be there all day. And you a man called Stanley, tough kind of guy. He'd fought in both the wars, you know. I never seen him cry. Last I saw of Stanley, well, he'd gone to cut his hair. He was turning right at Burke Road, Malvern, and he's probably still there. Old Gene lived at Ashwood with old Uncle Ern. Went out to do the shopping one day and he never returned. And many long years later, when they'd given him up for dead, <laughs> they found sight gag me. They found his body in the car at Burke Road, Malvern. <laughs> And the lights were still red. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. That's really great. And you have actually uh, encouraged an audience to come in, which is great. Gerald Quigley has arrived in. And, uh, Gerald, good morning to you. Just say good day anyway. Good day, Dixie. And a thrill to be here with Guru Bob. Is and is simply wonderful. And uh, Greg Champion is in the house, folks. If you uh, have a request for Greg... Yep. Why don't you give us a call? He's guaranteed to either not know it or have forgotten it, but do request anyway. That goes back. So that's 86? 30, 30 years. Wow. And, you know, it's still relevant today. Well, I still sing it in my... Yes, well, the Burke Road Malvern intersection still uh, annoys people. Oh, a little. Definitely me. I get really annoyed by it. I, I know exactly what you're saying. And I was living, I was renting a little uh, semi-detached in East Malvern then, and I, one day you're sitting at the uh, Malvern waiting to turn right into Burke, yeah. and uh, you wait forever, and you make mental note, never turn right at Burke Road Malvern, and you think, well, that sounds like a song. Yeah. Uh, and and there you go. Worked out okay. Isn't that wonderful? Now, uh, for those folks who uh, are on the line, you may have a request for Greg Champion, but uh, Greg, we, we're going to ask you to do one more mm. before we go mm. to a commercial break. Sure, mate. But, uh, mm. Can you do something? Mm. Now, Simon Owen, who was on before, mm -hmm. he loves a song that you do, mm. and Simon is there. Simon, come in. Well, yes. Si Simon's uh, yes. on before uh, midnight, of course. And uh, so, hello, Simon. Thank you so much for calling in. It's a pleasure. Thank uh, you. It's lovely to have you here. Uh, that microphone doesn't seem to be working. Oh, that's because Nigel wouldn't have turned the volume up. Can you put the volume up on my mic, please? No? Is this busted? No, he's a I don't want him on. That's he's, it. He's had enough time. That's it. That's great. Okay, so... Um, you, you, you were on. You, you were telling me about a, a wonderful song that you, uh, you love... Uh, you heard way back when, and you never forgotten it. That, that's right. Um... I, I don't know what station it was on or where I was yeah. driving along yeah. and I remember hearing this mm. bloke in a guitar mm. and it was a footy show of some sort mm. and he was singing a song and it was to the tune of um, Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood mm -hmm. and this guy sang the lyrics mm. I'm just a player whose potential is good mm. Oh Lord, please don't let me play for Collingwood and I thought that was the funniest thing I'd ever heard Please tell me it's one of yours and I'm not just embarrassing you. No, that's me, and you've sung it better than I could. <laughs> <laughs> and we, luckily we've heard that one now because I've got another Collingwood one to share with you. Uh, I don't know your team, Simon. Who do you uh, follow? E Essendon, allegedly. Well, we say to Essendon fans, look, as long as you've got your health. <laughs> yes, I've just had the flu. But, but he hasn't got his health at all. He's yeah. a sick, sick man well, in many ways. Sick, well, this is called Train to Montmorency, and this has uh, got a Collingwood theme, and this has been one of the more, most popular songs on the Could Have Been's over recent years. So uh, it's going to run about three minutes, so I hope you've got that time available, Nigel. I tell you, I tell you what, I'll, we'll I'll do. give him three minutes. I'll tell right. you what. No, no, no we'll, we'll go to a break, and then, then we will come back, okay. and uh, we'll all save right. it for then. So that's... Uh, okay. 12.30. This is Australia Overnight. You're listening to the wonderful voice of Mr. Greg Champion coming back in a moment.